I bet you didn't know that your patient's labs can tell you exactly which organ is in trouble. And this is if you know what to look for. Let's go through some of the most important ones that you'll see in practice. Let's start off with the heart. So we have troponin. This is specific for myocardial infarctions. It rises when cardiac muscle cells are damaged. Then we have BNP, B-type natriuretic peptide. This is released when the ventricles stretch in heart failure. So high BNP means fluid overload. And then we have the lungs, starting off with something called D-dimer. This becomes elevated with clots like PEs or DVTs. It's not a diagnostic, but a negative D-dimer helps rule out a clot. And then we have our ABGs, our lovely arterial blood gases. These show how well the lungs are managing oxygen and CO2 balance. Moving down to the liver, we have AST, ALT, and ALP. These are enzymes that rise when liver cells are damaged. And then bilirubin, this increases with jaundice or bile flow obstruction. And then our kidneys, we have our bun and creatinine. These both measure renal function. Elevated levels of either of these mean impaired filtration. And then GFR is actually the opposite. So these best estimate how well the kidneys are working. So a low GFR means that there's decreased function. And then our beautiful brain, we have a lab called ammonia. So this is both liver and brain, but essentially ammonia can rise in hepatic encephalopathy when the liver can't clear toxins, and this will ultimately affect mental status. So each of these labs gives you a clue about which system is failing. The trick is to connect the dots, and this is something that you really learn as you work as a new grad nurse. If you comment labs down below in my Instagram comment section, I will send you a free reference guide that maps common labs to each body system.